Joffrey, Renly, Rob Stark, they're all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Hello everyone and welcome back to our Carl Drogo playthrough where we are continuing to expand westward towards Westeros taking all of the Great Grass Sea as we move as well as raiding the slave cities as well. So we are currently at war with Zolo which is this small region here but we're also going to declare war on Chaholo which is a very small region we may as well take both at the same time as they're going to be pretty easy to take our allies will help us and then we can stop these two big Kalasars here from gaining them hopefully they'll fight amongst themselves before we even try to take them let's just call in our allies so that all the tribes will come and help us um a few more things i wanted to do we've got quite a bit of money and prestige now so i wanted to upgrade some of our um provinces that we do have which we don't have many but we've got our main one here what can we do with horse breeders riding contests there's quite a few Things that we can do, what would be the best one to go with? Um, hmm, which... Duh, 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 duh. Something that's going to... Okay, sheep gets us more tax. So yeah, we'll go with that, more money. So, And then we'll do the provinces of our clansmen as well. So let's do this one and improve this in some way. Let's give it a horse breeder. Why not? Um, which other ones have we got? We've got a couple down here. Let's go for horse uh, hunting parties in that one. We'll just carry on upgrading what they're already working on. This one, okay, they're already building an oxen wagon. What else have we got? We've got one over here who are already doing something as well. Okay, so a lot of them are already working on their own provinces. Aha, this one isn't right. Let's go with what would let's go for something a bit different here. Cattle pens, what do we get there? Nomad tax and population growth. So let's go for those. Try those out. And is that all of them? I've got one left up here that we haven't done yet. Let's go for a shrine in this one. Just just to try something different. Right. But yeah, as I said, we're carrying on marching westward. We can't. We have a truce with Marine as we raided them, and they gave us a shit ton of gold and stuff in the last episode. So yeah, we'll carry on marching our main Kalasar, which is here, ten thousand strong, as we absorbed this small clan up here to get ourselves to the right amount of clans. Uh, Co Covo of Covo has created the title Cass of. Okay, right. I'm gonna actually. We could do we're getting some good blood riders. So let's try and search in the realm for the most, the best fighters of the Dothraki and see which ones we can invite to court and try and make blood riders. A lot of them are poor and trained fighters. We need to get ourselves some skilled fighters. Kovo, who's already in, yeah, one of our clans. Uh, is there any more skilled fighters? Trained fighters, trained fighters. Pono, skilled fighter. We've got a trained fighter here, but he's not very good at anything else. Um, there's not many, is there really? Trained fighter. I have got a skilled fighter here, so let's see if we can invite him to court. Maybe make him a blood rider. Um, have we got any others? Rono. He's a skilled fighter as well, but he's a craven. Hmm. Not really any decent fighters at all. We'll leave it there and we'll just invite... Oh no, this guy here. He seems pretty decent. Let's invite him to court as well. Okay, right. Carry on marching westward. Hopefully we'll be able to get Daenerys up the duff again and try and get some more sons. We only have Rhaegar at the moment, who is mighty impressive already at the age of what, two? Bless when you and your house, I accept your gracious invitation. We'll join your court forthwith. Perfect. Right, let's have a look. You're a trained fighter. Can we ask to be a blood rider and see if he'll accept? He considers for a moment, but refuses. Fair enough. He doesn't honour us enough. Right. The Valerians of Driftmark did actually try and go for Rago's claim on the Iron Throne in the last episode, which was interesting. Unfortunately, we can't. They are worshippers of R'hllor, which is interesting. Uh, my trust did. Okay, yeah, excellent. Right. Um, Is Thingy still alive? What's his name? Yeah, Orain Waters. Can we invite him to our court just to get a Valyrian in our court? And yes, we can. Let's see if he'll come over to our court just for the sake of it. Considering they stood by us, let's try and do that. I would like to try and... um marry Rago as well who's wow very impressive i'd like to try and uh, marry him to a valerian or someone of valerian descent so that we can try and get those valerian features on him get that silver air uh, peace with you i accept your gracious invitation we'll join your court forthwith perfect right yep let's continue our march and end these two very small wars very very quickly it shouldn't take much at all with our huge kalasar that's marching westward as well as the huge clans that we have and orain waters 
has joined our court, which is interesting to have him in our court, but uh, let's send him a small gift. We've got plenty of money. Grant Landy Top, we can actually give him a title, the City of Vas... Uh, no, we won't do that, but we'll keep an eye on him. Hopefully, he'll have a daughter and we can betroth her to our son. Uh, my Dothrak Atric Romo has told me about a remarkable weaponsmith residing in Krasik Nick. He suggested that I invite the man to my court to see his wares myself. If he manages to impress me, I could order my own custom-made item. A fine idea. Yes, so let's get him in here. I'm actually enjoying this playthrough so much more than I thought I would. As I said, I've not really ever played as a nomad, and I'm enjoying it so much. It's actually making me want to go on to the vanilla um, game and play as the Mongols. Uh, once the weaponsmith craps, uh, craftsmanship has been checked by my most knowledgeable attendants to ensure the quality was sufficient, I received him in the throne room. He introduced himself as a Master Akko and gestured towards his numerous assistants who all carried examples of his work. Does my Carl have anything special in mind? A Mirish Stiletto, a fine bow. We've already got a weirwood bow, haven't we? So let's go for a Mirish Stiletto then. Um, Arak, I see an excellent choice, my Carl says, Maester Akko, and calls for the assistant cradling three Araks in his arms. I have three examples of different quality levels. Once, um, one must determine how one needs and how much one is willing to pay. Um, I don't need any frills. Craft me something effective. Yep, we want to go for the best Arak that we can. Here we go, we're marching our 14,000 men over slowly but surely, which is going to, this is going to improve our land massively. We're going to then own everything, pretty much everything east of Valyria, in between Valyria and the Bone Mountains, apart from the slave cities, but I don't really want to own them. I think it's more effective for us to just keep raiding them and getting loads and loads of money from them every time that they pay us off. Who's this here? Is that a, okay, it's just a random Kalasar. We have got to watch out for these two um, Kalasars here are probably pretty strong. I doubt they're as strong as us, but if one was to take the land of the other, they could maybe cause us slight problems, but we'll, we'll see. I don't think they will. If we take them quickly, I think I will finish off the tall men, which the Dothraki probably should have done a long time ago. We'll take these little bits of land that they do have, and we can grant that to some of our smaller trap maybe make some more clans uh finally the arrow has been completed master akko has brought me a sturdy box which contains the item my hands are shaking slightly as i open the heavy lid this is excellent uh, for some time now my wife gleesy daenerys has been overcome with fatigue and are troubled by a persistent cough i have not i've now been informed that the symptoms are due to pneumonia oh great um call for a physician at once let's have a look at our new arrow then there we go um, of the Drogo Dynasty. Well, that is an absolutely terrible name. So if you guys want to come up with a nice name for our Arik, that would be appreciated. As well as our Weirwood Bow. If you want to think of a name for our Weirwood Bow, then feel free as well. We're still aiming to get that Valyrian Steel Arik, of course, from our courtier once he dies. Could just imprison him and take it from him, but that seems a little bit dishonourable, doesn't it? Okay, we're almost at Zolo now with our huge tribe. Okay, and I've just realised we're at 100%. We didn't even need to get there. So, offer peace and force demands send. The Khal Drogo war against Khal Zolo of Zolo has ended. Khal Drogo has won. Perfect. So, let's march on to Kohala instead. We'll sort out this province afterwards and who we're going to give all this land to that we have just gained. Are you the guy who owns that? Yeah, so we'll probably give it to one of these other Khals around here. Um, and make their lands a little bit bigger. We don't want to make too many clans if we can help it. It just gets hard to keep track of, but we're almost in Kohalo, which will be very easy to end as well. My prisoner, Ko Zolo Zolo, is complaining about his dark cell in the dungeon and is asking for more suitable accommodations. Let him rot for now. We'll sort that out once we end this other war. And then before we start any more wars after this, we need to um, do that thing for the society, don't we? We've got an active mission where we've got to duel... Um, was it Zeko? I think we've got to duel him so that we can uh, move up in the society. So we'll keep a lookout for that once we end this war. Hopefully we'll be able to do that. Lord Mance, a tall talker, accepted Lord Commander Joa, the old bear's peace offer. Okay, interesting. So things didn't go too well for Mance Raider by the looks of it, as <laughs> as is usually the case. Apart from in our house shell playthrough where he's doing surprisingly well. Well, he was doing surprisingly well. He actually managed to push back the White Walkers. And I think he made a white piece with a Night's Watch, which surprised me because I'm pretty sure that he was winning heavily. So I don't know why he did that. And here we are. We're almost now in Koholo. How is Daenerys faring? Is she getting any better yet? No, still got um, Mnemonic. She's not good. I really want to get another child out of her if we can. The vassals of Drogo now view you with respect. I thought they did anyway. Only 33 defenders. We'll just assault quickly. We're at 99%. We may as well leave our tribe. Can we... 
offer peace and enforce our demands. Yes, we can at 99%. They seem to surrender easier, the Dothraki, so that's good. Let's wait for them to accept our peace offer. And then we can sort out these new clans and tribes that we've added. Uh, the Karl Drogo war against Karl Koholo has ended. Perfect. The Wisdom of Mercy, Legend, I accept your peace offer. One title can be created, the High Lordship of Salosh. Yep, create it, get all that prestige. Perfect. Right, now let's have a look what we're working with here. Is we've, obviously, we've got all this land that we now need to give away. So, how many clans do we now have? If I can collect the wrong one. Nine out of nine. And one of them is imprisoned. Who uh, was you up here? So, can we just absorb clan? Yeah, we'll absorb your clan considering that we already own you. It'll be easier to do that. There we go. Just because I want to try and keep under. I don't want too many clans. And one title, High Lordship. Yep, we'll create that. Get that nice prestige yet again. Now, who do we give? Who are you? Are you imprisoned by us? Imprisoned by Carl Drogo. We could absorb his clan as well. Where is he here? Which would take us down to seven clans. He's not a very powerful clan. So, do you know what? I think I will. And I'll split then the land between the north and south of these two clans here so let's do that as well unless it's going to upset people which i don't think it will perfect yep so there we go absorbed that clan which is going to give us another um title to create there we go right now let's have a look who we've got down here and what land they own what land do you own you own this big chunk in the middle wow that is a big chunk of land and you up here you own all that so i think i'll gift you all this northern land here sorry about that the dogs are barking let's grant landed title including the lower titles of um which one is which Duh. what are these called one second right let's go on to the du jour high lordships so that i can easily see which one's which can get pretty confusing right here you are so let's grant Landed title, include the lower titles, and we want to give you Havzik Lexu. Oh my god, I really can't pronounce these things. Um, where is... They're not on here, are they? Never mind. Right. I'll quickly... I'm quickly going to sort these out, guys. I'll be back momentarily. And there we go, guys. I've managed to hand all these out now, just to get rid of that annoying border gore a bit so they own everything north of this river in this big clan i'll probably give them the tall man land as well and then these own pretty much everything down the middle as you can see from the yellow lines and then these own everything in the southern region we're in the middle and then the three clans on this side and it also keeps our clan level lower than what we wanted makes us some powerful clans who will all have hopefully a pretty decent opinion of us and now that we're not at war let's see if we can finally challenge you to a duel now we still can't challenge you to a duel because you must be at war who are you at war with you are defending against magister greco of Kohor in war against car okay fair enough so we can't do that how are we doing for the money and prestige got plenty of prestige still can we improve our military yet now that we've expanded a little bit yes we can perfect so let's add more to the kalasar what should we go with let's We've got plenty of gold, so let's go for some of these more powerful ones where we get some heavy cavalry. Let's let's purchase a load of heavy cavalry with all the gold that we do have. There we go, as many as we can get. 750 there in our second Kalasar that we're slowly building now, which is got 300 heavy cavalry in, which is awesome, as well as some light cavalry. Could do with adding a few more horse archers in there if, if possible. We've got our main Kalasar over here. Right, what should we do next? Should we try and get one of these Kalasars or do we... Do you know what? Let's take this Tallman land instead. Let's declare war a nomad invasion of Umba, which we can't do. Why can we not do that? Um, ah, they've not got the culture of the Tallman. So what do we need? Do we need... Okay, so we can't go to war with those just at the moment. Oh, that's a shame. So we'll leave them. We can raid them, but we'll leave them for now. What about... We can always raid Yunkai. We haven't raided Yunkai. What about Hesh, these Lazine people? Can we do anything with them? Can we invade them? No, but we can raid them. Probably not worth it. I doubt they're going to offer as much. Let's raid Yunkai then. Let's declare war a raid on Yunkai. I think once we become the Carl of Carls, we can then attack these other areas if i'm correct then we can attack the tall men and cohort and the free cities etc um yep let's call everyone to aid us in raiding yunkai hopefully they'll give it a nice fat payoff again which will 
help us massively. Let's call in our tribes. Where are we? Here we are with our 6,000 men. Do you know what? Um, I'm not even going to bother marching them just yet. I'm going to wait a little while because Yunkai will probably surrender pretty quickly. Aha. We've got our prisoners. Um, What are you? Are you any good at anything? Not really. Let's... Hmm. Enslave. Sell into slavery. Let's just execute him. Stop any troubles there. Keep the fear up a little bit. Uh, we'll feed him to the lions. I like seeing other people cry again. The cruel trait. Awesome. Uh, let him run. Is there, don't we have one more prisoner as well? If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure we have one more prisoner. Yes, Zolo, who was another. Oh wow, he's pretty cool. He's a skilled fighter and a giant. Um, I'd actually like to employ him if possible. Let's. Is he in our court? Let's put in house arrest for now. What can we do with him? Because he's actually pretty decent. An ambitious, skilled fighter, a giant, very good marshal. He has a weak claim. Right, um... If we release him, will he stay in our court? Yes, he is. So, let's see if we can get him to like. Have I already sent him a gift? No. I'd like to make him a blood rider if possible. We'll leave him in our court for now. So on pause, wait for Yunkai to no doubtly offer us... Actually, we will march south because then we will attack uh, Mofo first when, when we try and get the rest of the Dothraki land. Awesome, our allies are coming to our aid, of course. It looks like the Yunkai haven't got a lot of men. It's hard to see past the real selfish motivations behind Kaholo's fumbling attempts to gain my favour. Despite his best efforts, I feel no more warming up to him than I would to a burned-out candle. Oh, Kaholo, he's one of our banner men, isn't he? He likes us 100%, which is good. Perfect. We still have this little bit of land up here that we do need to take at some point, but we still have that alliance with them, I believe, so we can't do anything there at the moment. Uh, Lord Paramount Renly the Elegant has formed an alliance with Prince Dorin of Dawn. Interesting. Right, so it doesn't look like Yunkai are going to surrender just yet. They are actually calling up their banners, so we'll bring our horse lords down. Ah, there they are. They've got 12,000 men there, but I don't think they'll be able to, be able to stand against our mounted cavalry. Very surprised that they haven't actually um, surrendered. And offer it as tribute. Marine offered tribute. Mar blah, blah, blah. Marine offered tribute straight away. But here we go. There's 11,000 Kalasar there, as well as our 10,000 Kalasar, which we are losing men because of the bad supply line, which is a shame. And there's 6,000 here, so wow, yeah, we're going to have a hell of a lot of men to raid the crap out of Yunkai. Hopefully, get a shit ton of gold and slaves. 13. Yeah, okay, so they've got about 15,000. Where are they marching to? There. And who's going to get the advantage there? They are. So we'll march around the side if we can and then cut them off. Yep, there we go. We're going to attack them here in the land of Arisha and Nomi. We should easily be able to push them back, especially when the rest of our Kalasar show up. Two are people eloped and got married without anyone's consent. Except their marriage. I don't really care. Can't be, can't be asked to mess around with that. So we'll just cut off this army. Oh, they're not going to march there now. Where are they marching to now? To Marine. Okay, we'll attack them in Marine. Easier for us. We've got 6,000 men here as well now. Be an easy victory. Literally charge them down with all our cavalry. There we go. Easy. Great. Carl, I write to it. says the continuation of the fact that Coho enjoys command of your armies. Um, when someone of a higher status would clearly be more appropriate. I petition that he be removed from command and then I take his place. Um, no, you're an incompetent commander, so he's doing a fine job. Thank you very much. He may upset you by doing that, but I don't really care. Right. Um, they're going to get a small bonus there, but I think we've got enough men that it's not going to matter. We can easily crush them and then march on to Yunkai, get some gold, carry on building up our Kalasar and improving our regions. Prince Doran of Dawn inherited the city of Shadowtown. Doesn't really concern us, does it? There we go, we're at 70%. Now let's march on to Yunkai and assault it, and hopefully that will be enough to end that war and complete our raid upon Yunkai. There we go. We're going to bump into a small force here, which is a very easy and quick victory. And on to Yunkai, which hopefully has a decent supply limit. Yeah, 15,000, so we should be okay there. And here come the rest of our Kalasar. Okay, so a new Kalasar has popped up. There's now three Kalasars here. We've got the Barbo Kalasar, which has suddenly uh, popped up, and the Scopo and the Motto. So we'll probably go for these northern two first now, actually, and leave Motho till last, until we have all the other areas of the Dothraki Sea. Where are we? Where's our army? Still marching. Hopefully we'll uh, arrive in Yunkai pretty soon. 
have literally smashed the entire Yunkai army. There isn't hardly even any men that have managed to retreat. The only thing is with Dothraki, we're not going to be able to do much about this siege army. It's going to take us a hell of a long time to siege this land. We're at 85%. Let's have a look. Yeah, 4,000 defenders and the pox are here as well, which is not great news. But yeah, let's fast forward and grind it down. Hopefully our ally Kalasars will do some damage. Hail Fledgen, as a member of the Dothraki Riders, we strive to better ourselves than each other. One way is the occasional sparring match for practice and honour. Seek out and duel the warrior Mago. You will find him in Yunkai. Mago, let's have a look at you then. Can we try and duel you? Not at the moment because we're at war, but we'll try in a moment, Mago. I'll try and remember that. This is going to take us a hell of a long time to siege, isn't it? Is there anything else that we could siege? We could siege some of the other Yunkai lands, but taking the capital would be the best option, really, wouldn't it? We'll just we'll just fast forward and we'll grind it down eventually. King Robert the Iron Throne and has inherited High Lordship of Blackwater Rush and other titles from Denley the Careless of House Fawn. Oh, his House Fawn died out then. No, he's oh Sir Alistair Fawn, yeah. So yeah, House Fawn has died out other than Sir Alistair on the wall. So that's interesting. So not really a big loss, is it? I've not really got much time for the Fawns with how much of a prick Sir Alistair is, but you know, never mind. Still a Still a big house that's died out. Well, fairly big house. 90% war score now. Dorian Martell is now known as the Wise. Oh, what have we got here? Possible to rank up in society. Oh, awesome. Request to rank up. Yes, awesome. So we're going to go from Renown to... Uh, oh, no, from Fledgling to a Warrior. Awesome. Now, if we get that sparring duel that we, um, the game wants us to do, which we should win easily as Drogo, shouldn't we, to be honest. So we would hopefully be able to level up again in the society. Which will be certainly interested. 96%. Yeah, a little bit more siege and we've won this. Honoured fledgling Drogo, I hereby grant you permission to advance to the next rank within the Dothraki Riders. Signed, Hero Belwis. It is my privilege. Doc Cold Drogo is promoted to Warrior in the Dothraki Riders. Perfect. Let's continue our siege. Drogo is now... Uh, oh no, the vassals of Drogo now find you intimidating. Drogo, Drogo is now known as the Black. Oh, Awesome. Carl Drogo, the Black of Drogo. Very interesting. That's pretty cool. How is Rago doing? He's now two years old. That is insane. Eight. What? That's insane for a two-year-old. <laughs> wow. He's going to end up here. Ma amazing. Father, father calls Rago, pulling my arm, pledging, uh, pleading to play with him and his latest toy, completely oblivious to all the important work I am in the middle of. Sometimes this kid can be really insufferable. Not now, child. Oh, we can't actually do anything, which is annoying. Probably because we're uh, at war. Oh, we've been invited... Peace with you. We'd like you to back our plot to kill Miri Mazder. Um, I'm not really interested, to be honest. A Dof Dothraki plot doesn't seem like something the Dothraki would do. We've almost taken Yunkai. Any second now. Coca Hollow wrote me a letter expressing his fervent desire to know me better, so that we can come to a good acquaintance. If nothing else, it would be. F um, it was a thoughtful, kind gesture of him. Sure, I'm happy to talk to him about it. Now I've got 21,000 men in this Kalasar at Yunkai, which is tremendous. Hopefully we'll get a lot of stuff from the raid. And here we go. Your horde swarms into the holding of Yunkai as the walls crumble and fall. They are intent on plundering, but won't go ahead unless you, their Carl, give them permission to do so. Bring back the spoils to me and we'll divide it between them. We gain 60 gold, but it... Uh, kill every living thing. All is yours for the taking. Gain 50 prestige. Or I will have mercy on these people. No, kill every living thing. All is yours for the taking. Do as you like. Let's make them happy. Great car. We rounded up everybody we could find in Yunkai. What should we do with them? Imprison the entire family in the dungeon. And let's offer peace. End force demands. Yes. Do we still have him in our dungeon? No, we don't. But we do have his family, which we could probably sell into slavery, which would be pretty cool. Make some money off that. We have still made a little bit of money. Can we... Send some back to Dosh Kaleen. No, why is our court in hiding? Let's call them out of hiding. Um, right, can we now duel? What was his name? Mago, wasn't it? Was it Mago? It was something similar to Mago, if not Mago. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? As soon as I see the name, I'll recognise which one it was. It did say he was our courtier. Where are you? Right, marching our men northward. Uh, great car, the group of slaves that were captured in Yunkai and were selected to join your personal collection have been delivered to Rish Tahin. Let's have a look then. What have we got? We've got a Yunkai who's not overly impressive. Uh, Hisdar. 
mm, decent marshal, I suppose. And Azara, who is a young Kai as well. She's a grace. Um, take slave as a concubine. Could do that because Daenerys isn't really given as many children, is she? So let's take her as a concubine. We need to try and get some of the children. Obviously, Rago is going to inherit, hopefully, the Seven Kingdoms. But we could do with trying to get ourselves some more children, really, if possible. Right. Who to next? Okay, so it looks like Temo managed to take back that Kalasar. Right. We could go straight for you. Take that whole southern region. Do you know what? I think that probably would be the best move. So let's declare war. Nomad invasion of Moffo. That is a huge, huge plot of land for us to take. So send and let's call our allies and all the tribes that are going to come to our aid. There we go. And then we will march our Kalasar around just to here for now so that we can start our attack on Moffat, which is going to give us a hell of a lot of land. We won't be far off them becoming the Carl of Carls. Uh, we will end today's episode here though, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, I really do appreciate it. I really hope that you did enjoy. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment down below and subscribe to the channel. And hopefully I'll see you all very soon for the next episode.